Hey survivors, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a frustrating issue that many players are facing with Deathbound, the dreaded startup crash. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some effective solutions to get you back into the game in no time. First up, we're going to force the use of DirectX 10. Sometimes using versions other than DirectX 10 can cause Deathbound to crash. Here's how you can fix it, open your Steam client and go to your library. Right click on Deathbound and select properties. Set launch options. In the dialog box, type force feature level 10.0 and click OK. Restart your game and see if it runs properly. This simple tweak has worked wonders for many players. If the previous method didn't work, you can try using the 32-bit version of both Steam and the game. Here's how. Download the Steam CMD zip file and extract it to a new folder. Open command prompt by pressing Windows plus R, typing CMD, and hitting OK. Navigate to your Steam CMD folder by typing CD, your folder path, and hitting Enter. Type Steam CMD and press Enter. Log into your Steam account using the following commands, replacing username and password with your actual Steam credentials. Launch the 32-bit version of Deathbound from the Deathbound subfolder and see if the crashes are resolved. Finally, if you're still experiencing crashes, it's possible that some game files are corrupted or missing. Here's how to verify the integrity of your game files in Steam. Go to your library, right-click on Deathbound, and select Properties. Click on the Local Files tab, then click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Steam will validate the files, and hopefully, this will fix any issues. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming tips and tricks. 